Let's take a look at the Ohio DOT geometry points application. So I have a design file open that's a BK file, and in this file I have one alignment for my main State Route 185, and I've referenced the survey information. I've also referenced the second file that has an alignment. So let's go ahead and open the application. So I'm on our Ohio DOT workflow under the Apps tab, and over here under the Survey group, if I look at the Reports button, there's a Ohio DOT geometry points option, and I'll pick that to open the dialog. So when the dialog's open, it scans the active file and it scans all the references and it populates a list of any geometry points or survey points it finds and any alignments that it finds. So to get started uh, describing this, I'm going to start with this checkbox for show all survey points. So by default, it's filtering the list to only show survey points that are monument points or control points. Um, so if I look at the list, I can see some of the feature definitions uh, for the points that it found. If I wanted to list all the points, I can just check this on. It's going to rescan the files and then update that list to include all the survey points, regardless of feature definition. So I'll go ahead and just turn that back off, and we'll just work with any control or monument points. So there's some commands listed across the top of the dialog, and I want to uh, mention that these commands were some things that our users uh, were doing and found a little bit tedious with Open Roads tools, and they asked if we could provide an application that might um, just give them a little more, uh, a little better workflow, especially when they're working with survey points and geometry points both, which are two different types of points in the software. So um, this dialogue is not intended to reproduce everything that you might have done with an older geometry software, um, but it's intended just to do some uh, common functions that, as I said, were a little tedious with open roads. So looking at the commands that are available, the first one is a refresh data command. So I would use this if I uh, change design files and I need to just refresh the list of points and alignments based on the file I'm in. I could also use that if I delete a point or add a point to my file or delete alignment or add an alignment. I'll just refresh the list. The next point is a window command. So the way this works is I can select a point from the list pick the command and it's just going to window in on that selected point in my microstation view. Okay, this only works with one point. If I select more than one point, it's going to tell me, hey, I've got more than one point selected. I can only deal with one at a time. Okay, the next command is an inverse command. So that'll work with two or more selected points. So I've got uh, one selected. I'll do a control click to select a second point. And I'll click the inverse command. And down here in the output window, it's telling me the direction and distance between those two points. Now, this is sensitive to the order that I choose the points in the dialog. So if I pick 906 first and then control click on 901 and run the command, you'll see it's now listing from 906 to 901. The uh, distance and the direction to the southwest is now reported as northeast. And this will work between survey points and geometry points. And again, it'll, it'll um, work with multiple points. So I'll just control click on a few points at random here and tell it to inverse between those. So I can see from that first point, which was a geometry point to the second point, which was a survey point, it's distance and direction. And then the second to the third and third to the fourth. The next command is a northern easting elevation report. And this is just going to generate an ASCII file in comma-separated values or CSV format. And it might be something that's useful to import to your data collector. So it's going to give me the point name, northern easting elevation, and then the feature definition. So for whatever points I have selected, I pick the NEZ report. It's going to ask me where I want to save that. I'm just going to overwrite one I had stored previously. And I'll go ahead and save that. And again, that's just a CSV file that I could use for import into my data collector. If I was in ProjectWise, I would have got a, uh, a ProjectWise um, save file dialog for that. So it will work saving it into a location in ProjectWise as well. 
Okay, the next command is a station and offset command. So this will work with uh, one or more selected points and selecting alignment. And if I click station offset, it's just going to report that point, it's station offset on the alignment. And this will work with points that are outside the limits of the alignment. So for example, this monument point one, if I window in on that, and then I'll use my mouse wheel to zoom out a bit, you can see it's after the end of my alignment. Uh, and I had annotated that using an open roads uh, tool to uh, label the station offset of the point, which works along an extension. Um, and this will also work on an extension of the alignment. So using that point and this alignment, if I click station offset, it'll show me the station and offset. And it'll tell me that that's on an extension of that alignment. And then these uh, values should represent or these values should be the same as what I got from the Open Roads Annotation tool, and it uh, appears that they are. Okay, there's a clear function at the bottom of the dialog, so that just clears the output um, portion. So if I wanted to clear that and then just do a new, uh, maybe an inverse between a bunch of points, and then uh, I want to save that. Uh, there's a couple options here that I could use to uh, save that. Uh, the dialog itself is resizable, so I can grab the bottom and resize it. I can also grab this horizontal separator and resize the bottom portion. So if I select this uh, output information and right click on it, I've got cut, copy, and paste. So let's just go ahead and copy that. And now I can paste that into um, you know, a Word document or even my design file if I wanted to. I can just click in the microstation and control V and I could paste that information into the file if I wanted to do that. In the top part of the dialog, I can also cut and paste from this. So if I just do a, a control C, I don't have anything selected in the bottom, but I do have points on the top. If I do a control C. Um, I think I need to go to the dialog here and do that again. Let me select the points and then control C and come back into microstation control V. And now I've got the uh, information from the top part of the dialog and paste that in the file. You could also go into Excel and paste that into Excel, and then each of these will come in different columns in Excel. So the top part of the dialog doesn't uh, have a right-click menu with copy. I have to use Control-C to copy the information from the top part. And the last thing I want to mention is the number of decimal places uh, on your output. And uh, the decimal places is coming from, if I go to File, Settings, File, and then my Design File Settings. A couple different things you can look at. Uh, first, here's the accuracy um, in our working units. Uh, I don't remember what that's used for, but that's going to control uh, one of them. If I look at Civil Formatting, there's some precision here. And if I look at the Angle Readout, there's a precision here for angles. So those are the settings you'll want to look at if you want to change the output precision. So as I said earlier, uh, the intent of this was just to provide some common tools that were assisting our users and some functions that they found a little bit tedious with the Open Roads tools. It's not intended to duplicate everything you could do or might want to do with points, but we are open to suggestions. So if you have suggestions for improvements or enhancements to this tool, uh, just let us know in the Office of CAD and Mapping Services. So thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.